The Florida legislature is considering an alimony reform bill that would significantly change divorce and child custody laws here in the state of Florida. Legislative proposals were filed in Tallahassee earlier this month, marking the fourth time in recent years that Florida lawmakers have tried to pass alimony reform. Joining me now is Lawrence Datz, a local family law attorney. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So the bills call essentially for eliminating permanent alimony. Would you please explain to our viewers the arguments in favor and opposed to this portion of the bill? Sure. Permanent alimony terminates on the death of the recipient or, excuse me, the death of either party or the remarriage of the recipient. So it may go a short time, it may go a long time, it just it de depends on a bunch of variables and it's also subject to modification if either party has a substantial change in circumstances. And the pros and cons to this? Well, um, uh, put it this way, I, I think it's mostly negative. Um, uh, when you, most divorce lawyers represent about uh, half people who would pay alimony, about half people who would receive it. Um, what it would do is take away the court's flexibility uh, to tailor something to a particular family. The proponents of the bill say it gives predictability, and in essence, they aren't a slave to alimony for years, years and years on end. So those who, and just to, to, to further kind of dig deeper into this, um, you know, there are those who argue that it is not fair that a couple can divorce and that one of the spouses who is receiving the alimony can essentially stay single forever, even though he or she may be living with someone else and sharing a home and sharing bills and continue to receive alimony uh, for that long duration. You know, and it, that's essentially a, a false claim. The way that um, law exists now is that the courts could modify under those circumstances and even if there's a statute that makes provision for something called a supportive relationship, which it fits within those circumstances too. Uh, another a part of this bill is limiting durational alimony to 50% of the duration of the marriage. Would you explain that in regular terms? Yes. Um, durational alimony would normally terminate the way it exists now um, would, it can't be awarded for any longer than the length of the marriage. Um, so this would cut that down by half. And the problem with all of it is, is that um, alimony is based upon the financial need of one spouse and the ability to pay the other spouse. So the, the spouse that has the financial need, in essence, can fall off a cliff um, in terms of their support. And, and so just uh, if we add some some uh, numbers to this as an example. So if you're married, let's say for ten, you were married for 10 years and you were to divorce under this bill, how long would you then be able to receive alimony? No longer than five years. So half no matter end. what. And what about marital assets? Does this address this bill address that or, or make any changes? Um, not really. The um, division of property typically is 50%. There can be reasons to deviate from the 50%. So the proponents of the bill would argue, well, look, you're getting half the, the assets anyway. Thank you so much for your time this morning. I, you know, this is early. It's still in committee. There's been a delay on the, the vote in committee, so we'll continue to follow this. We appreciate your time this morning. Well, thanks for having me. And I do also want to point out two other things about this bill. It would also allow someone who retires to stop paying alimony. And if this bill is passed into law, it would not be retroactive.